We've talked about shifting and I'm gonna add a little thing to shifting that's really gonna help you. It's more for the advanced player, but I want you guys to start looking at this. When we're set up in our position towards the deuce side, if you think that the deuce player is going to lob, meaning there's a ball and it's gonna be deep in the court and you see the player moving back, look what it generated. It generated a lob. So as players at the net, if we're hanging on top of the net yet we know we're gonna see a lob, I want to see you start to prepare for that lob. So when the ball goes deep to Ian, you're going to see both myself and DJ take a small step backwards to start to prepare for the lob. Now, on the contrary, if you see someone running up to the net for that ball, it's going to generate a drive. So in that aspect, see how DJ and I both step up to shut down angles as well as give us less distance to the net, between us and the net so therefore we're not gonna have any errors into the net. We're gonna be looking to block the ball back into the court, but we're also adjusting based on what we're given. Same thing, if you see the high ball to Ben in the deep corner, both DJ and I will move back, and we're looking for the overhead. Other, same shot on this side going to Ben is if we get the short ball, we're both gonna crowd the net and look to block the ball back. That's gonna be movement within the shift and it's a little bit more of an advanced topic, but can definitely help you cover some of those hard drives as well as those deep lobs.